fashion sewers and welcome to Fashion Sewing Blog TV. I'm Colleen G. Lee and in this video tutorial I'm going to be giving you some hints and tips on working with velvet. Velvet is a fabric that has a pile. It has a short nap and if I just run my fingers along the surface of the fabric you can see the movement of the piles. Now in order for us to find the nap on velvet we need to run our hands along the surface of the fabric and as I'm going down it feels rough and when you go the opposite direction it feels smooth. So we need to make sure that we are going with the nap of the fabric which is down where it is smooth. As you can see the fabric looks dull at the moment so I wouldn't lay my patterns this way. So I'll turn the velvet the other way and it should seem a lot more luxurious and deeper in colour and the nap feels nice and smooth. Lay planning. When you're laying your pattern pieces onto your fabric make sure it's on a single layer of the fabric. One of the best methods for transferring your sewing pattern markings is using the pin marking method. I have done a video tutorial on pin marking so please go and check that out and then just mark all your sewing pattern information. Interfacing. You need to make sure that you're using sewing or woven interfacing so make sure that it isn't fusible so there should be no adhesive on the back. When pressing use a hand towel or bath towel and place the right side of your velvet on top. This will make sure that the piles are not flattened. Then get your iron and then press in an up and down motion. When pinning seams make sure that they match exactly because there can be movement because you've got surface to surface will create lack of friction and it means it will move so make sure that you put as many pins as possible pin through and pin and then move down so do it like you would normally do if you're working with any other fabric keep going I'm going to need more pins so the more pins the better and make sure your pins are parallel to the edge another pin there and I'm going to continue putting more pins along here. When hand basting velvet the technique is to do small basting stitches about three, three to four and then once you've done that the next thing to do is to a back stitch and this will help secure the fabric just a little bit more, stop it from moving. Sheen stitching your velvet, just loosen your thread tension. This will help to make sure that you get good, precise, accurate stitching. The biggest tip that I could give you for working with velvet is to test at every stage. That way you have less problems. Don't forget to subscribe to Fashion Sewing Blog TV for free weekly video tutorials and if you have any comments or queries please put them in the comment box below and I'll see you next time.